Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back to talk about coffee perfumes that I have in my collection. So I don't have a ton of coffee perfumes or perfumes with a coffee note, but I do have a pretty good selection here, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. So the first fragrance that I have to talk about is actually in a solid form because I ordered it um, in a solid form first because they're much less expensive that way to see if I actually liked the fragrance before I bought an entire bottle of it. And that is Cardamom Coffee from Lush. So you can get these in these little pots and they're quite reasonable. Um, I got this one and another one. Oh gosh, and this is so, so good. It smells, you have to like cardamom because it's very, it's got a very heavy cardamom note in it, but it's got this beautiful, smooth, sweet coffee note in the background. It's like a milky coffee with cardamom creamer, kind of. Oh, it is so, so good. I love this. So this is cardamom, rose oil, olive leaf, absolute, and oud oil. And it's stunning. I love it so much. So it doesn't even have a coffee note in it really, but it's called cardamom coffee and it smells exactly like coffee. So, um, yeah. So I guess, but it's, it's lovely. I really, really enjoy this fragrance. And I will definitely be ordering a bottle of that in the spray form. Okay, the next perfume that I have to talk about is Private Show by Britney Spears. So, I have seen this in quite a few coffee lists, so, um, yeah, this is definitely not new. Uh, this is Clementine Nectarine Coffee with Whipped Cream, Dolce de Leche, Orange, sorry, Orange Blossom, uh, Sambac Jasmine, Amber, and Musk, and... It's really, really beautiful. This obviously is a very sweet coffee type perfume. It's, uh, it's the coffee note is stated as coffee with whipped cream, and then it's got the dolce de leche note in it, which is quite sweet, like sweet milk. So it's just really, really beautiful. I love Britney Spears fragrances. Um, they're so like indulgent and just make you feel. I don't know, so good, so I love this one. Okay, the next one I have to talk about, I just have a little tiny baby here, and this is from an indie house called Kais Perfumes. And I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but it is called Fume Vini. There we go, Fume Vini. And this is gorgeous. Oh, I just noticed it's getting dark outside. Oh gosh, I love this so much. So, Fume Vini is vanilla, coffee, and oak moss. Uh, three notes, and it's so, so good. Oh, I love it so much. This is, again, like a... I'm going to just dab a little bit on. This is a sweet... Oh. Goodness. The coffee in this one is much more of like a black coffee note though. And it's mixed with like a not overly sweet vanilla. And then the oak moss just gives it something really beautiful. But yeah, this is more of a, um, it's a very uh, slightly sweet, like black coffee type note with um, like vanilla extract type vanilla. So it's not overly sweet you really get the true scent of vanilla and coffee. It's gorgeous. I love this one. This is another one that I would um, love to have a full bottle of. So, Okay, um, the next one I have to talk about is a an Atelier Cologne and this is called Cafe Tuberosa. Um, oh gosh, this reminds me so much of Nest's Cocoa Woods. Um, they're very, very similar to my nose. This is just really, really pretty. So, um, Cafe Tuberosa is Calabrian Bergamot, Sicilian Mandarin, Guatemalan Cardamom, Rose Oil, Indian Tuberose, Coffee, Madagascar Vanilla, and Cacao Pod. And this is stunning. Um, this is very, very well blended, so none of the notes overpower the other. The coffee isn't too strong. The tuberose isn't too strong. 
It's really, really beautiful. It's just a beautiful mixture of those two main notes and everything else is kind of supporting. It's really, really beautiful. It's not overly sweet. It's not overly floral. It's not, the coffee is not too strong in it. It's just a really beautiful coffee perfume. That's a floral coffee though, which is um, a little bit different. Okay, the next one that I have to talk about is one that I've talked about quite often on my channel and I really, really love it and that is Sofia Vergara Love. So, uh, this is sweet, sweet, sweet stuff. This is Mandarin Passion Fruit, Green Apple, Orange Blossom, Colombian Coffee Blossom, Purple Orchid, Orris Root, Magnolia, Ambrette Seed, Amberwood, Praline, and Vanilla. And it's stunning. I love this fragrance. I sprayed this on my hand quite a while ago and I can still smell it. It's just really good and this is just a really, really nice celebrity fragrance. I love this one. I've talked about it a ton so I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but this is a really good coffee one. Okay, the next one that I have to talk about is the infamous Black Opium. So I did resell my uh, Black Opium Nuit Blanche because I knew I would not get any use out of it. I do, however, still have a decant of the regular Black Opium, which I actually prefer anyways. So this is, what can I say? It's, uh, everybody loves Black Opium. It's a very hyped up fragrance. It is very, very nice. It's really a beautiful perfume. It just, for me, it's got longevity issues. Um, but this is pink pepper, orange blossom, jasmine, vanilla, coffee, patchouli, and cedar. I don't get a ton of the coffee in it, but it does bring a depth to this perfume. But this is a very sweet, just really nice perfume with a little bit of a coffee note to it. That would be like a beginner coffee perfume. In my opinion, it would be great for a beginner, somebody um, that doesn't have any coffee perfumes in their collection that would just kind of like um, to get started in, you know, with a coffee fragrance. So uh, the next and last one that I have to talk about is from Ganache Perfumes and it is called Cafe Lush. So to my nose, this is the most beautiful, authentic, black coffee with like a little bit of nuttiness or something in there. Perfume. This is wonderful for layering. This is really beautiful if you just want to add some coffee or a coffee note to any perfume that you would have. It's really, really gorgeous. I do think that this has been discontinued. I don't think that they, um, I'm not sure that Ganache makes a coffee perfume anymore actually, but um, yeah, this one is really, really beautiful. So this is vanilla bean, spices, coffee, woodsy notes, and white musk. I swear I smell something nutty in here, but it might be some sort of a spice. But it's really, really beautiful, and like I say, really, really great for layering, um, just to give any perfume a nice coffee note, so. Anyways, guys, those are all of the coffee perfumes or perfumes with a coffee note that I have in my collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.